everyone! Welcome again to my channel. It's me, Aldemel. And for today's video, I am going to discuss and demonstrate its proper exercise on play direction for hiking a trail. So, hiking is a long, vigorous walk, usually on trails or footprints in a countryside. Hiking is a cardiovascular and total body exercise that primarily targets our quads, and to a lesser degree, it also targets our abs, biceps, calves, chest, our forearms, glutes, groin, hamstring, hip flexor, lats, our lower back, middle back, neck, obliques, outer thighs, shoulder, chops, and biceps. So the benefit of this is that it is a power cardio workout that can boost our mood. It has a positive impact on combating the symptoms of stress and anxiety. So learning proper hiking form is easy with the step-by-step -step proper hiking instruction. Hiking tips and hiking instructional hiking technique. Hiking is exercise for those with a beginner level of physical fitness and exercise experience. So, without further ado, let's move on to the exercise and instructions on how can we be able to prepare on the trail. Let's go! So, before we proceed to our strength training in hiking, there is one more to consider, and that is stretching. Stretching is imperative to ensure that you avoid injury and recover as quickly as possible. These stretches are meant for post-workout when your body is warm and limber. They will improve your flexibility, reduce your risk of injury, and help flush any lactic acid through your body. After your hiking specific exercises, be sure to stretch out your quads, hamstring, glutes, lower back, and core muscles. You need to stretches on and before the exercise happen. Some good dynamic stretches included an easy warm-up, jog, jumping jocks, high knees, and butt kicks. This will get your heart rate up while warming up your body in preparation for the strength exercise. The first exercise is goblet squat. Goblet squat are the great exercise for hikers since they target all of the bigger leg muscles including your quads, hamstrings, and glutes. These muscles are the ones you predominantly use while hiking, so it's a good exercise to have in your toolkit. As an added bonus, they're easy to do too. The next one, step up. It targets your quads and glutes, which are important muscles for climbing mountains. This can be done at any gym with a box, but if you don't have a membership, they are easy to do at home too. But if this is a new exercise for you, start with a lower box, aim for 10 to 16 inches in height. As you become more comfortable, opt for taller boxes. Raise one foot to the top of the box and use your muscles to step up onto the box. Fully extend your hips at the top of the box so that you are completely standing upright with both legs. Use the same leg to step down, then switch to your other leg for the next rep. Lunges on their own make for an excellent exercise for hiking. However, one common hiking mistake is underestimating how much the downhill shreds your quads. Without fail, hikers dread the climbs thinking that they will be the toughest part of the day but it is always the descent that leads to sore thighs. Not only will these downhill lunges prepare your quads for any step descents, but they will also help strengthen your stabilizer and core muscles. You can do this if you keep your upper body straight, with your shoulders back and your chin relaxed. Engage your core and step forward with one leg, lowering your hips until your front knee is bent of a 90 degree angle. Be sure that your knee is directly above your ankle, rather than pitch forward over your toe. Keep your weight in your heels as you stand back up. Step forward your, with your back leg so that you finish with your two feet together. Then, do the same movement beginning with the other leg. Gradually, work up to 50 yards to downhill lunges. Hanging Knee Raises At first glance, this exercise is noticeably different from those listed previously since it does not focus on your leg muscles. Instead, 
Hanging knee raises focuses on strengthening your core. A strong core is important for many things while hiking. Not only will it support a heavy backpack during a long day of hiking, but it will help you to bob and weave through random shells debris. From a dead hang, engage your ab muscles to pull your knees upwards towards your chest, almost as if you are sitting in a chair. Maintain control while lowering them back down to the hanging position. This counts as one rep. In a stairmaster, this muscle strength will definitely help you while clicking. But cardio is an important factor to consider before tackling any hiking or backpacking trip. Not only does a stairmaster work your cardiovascular endurance, but it also strengthens your climbing muscles at the same time. Find a hill in your neighborhood or if you have a stair in your home and work on it. Hike the hill and jog back to the bottom, depending on the length of the hill. Begin with 3 to 5 climbs for your workout before increasing the number over time. Now that we are done demonstrating the exercise, here are the following tips that we should remember. First thing to remember, wear the proper shoes and bring plenty of liquid to stay dehydrated. Second, pick a pace that challenges you but that you are also comfortable with. And also third, hiking with a partner can challenge you to go faster and longer. And before we end in this video, here are the quotes of Mary Davis saying, The walk in nature is to witness a thousand miracles. Thank you for watching!